and to explore every possible solution to stop social media giants from restricting your rights to speak your mind. And Candace, you had a problem with it, I know, and other people have had a problem. Some people in this room have had a problem. Terrence, have you had a problem? Yeah. Huh? Terrence has had a problem. It's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah, not a lot of people have. But not the uh, other side of the world. The other side doesn't have that problem. Very rarely do they have it. We must preserve the fundamental American rights that generations of Americans have sacrificed everything to secure. With us this afternoon is Ben Okaruki. That's a great name, I love that name. <laughs> when Ben was 14 years old, he legally immigrated to the United States after suffering many hardships in Cameroon, which I hear is a beautiful, beautiful place. <laughs> <Cameroon>. <laughs> <laughs> to give back to our country, he joined the United States Army and honorably served. <laughs> He's a very talented field of human specialist. A lot of talent, they say. Ben, we salute your noble service and please say a few words, Ben. Woo! Yeah! Yeah, over here. Hi, Ben. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. And thank you, Charlie Kirk. Uh, first of all, Mr. President, we would like to thank you for everything that you've done for the African American community so far. We thank you for criminal justice reform. We thank you for the lowest black unemployment rate in this country, sir. Yeah. And finally, most importantly, sir, thank you for saving America and and thank you. It's oh. all right. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, sir, thank you for taking on the fake news media, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, we want you to build the world, sir. <laughs> Frankly, because we don't oppose immigration, but we oppose, but we oppose legal immigration. Yes. Yeah. So we want you to come to this country legally if you're gonna come to this country. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. And that's from the heart. That's from the heart. That's what it's all about. The young leaders in this room remind us that true power in our nation is not found in government or hallways or anywhere. It's found not in the media boardrooms. It really is where the strength is. It's in our people. It's in your hearts. It's in your courage, your spirit, your faith, and your pride. Together, we will defend the benefits and the beliefs that you want and you have and you're entitled to, the traditions and God-given freedoms that make our country the greatest in the world, and even, I think we can say, right now, the greatest in the history of the world, just like the unemployment numbers, greatest in history, that's the greatest in history also. You all, my friends, I'm never going to forget you. You've been incredible. You. You've been incredible. Whether it's Jerron, the job you do, or Charlie, I appreciate it, or Terrence, or Candace, you're all special people, very, very special people. And uh, you're doing something very important. I don't even know if you know, maybe you don't know. And you know, sometimes you're so into something and you, you just don't really feel how important it all is. What you are doing is so important for your community and for this country. Mm. We will renew the values that unite our people as one America. As one team, we will build up our nation. We will lift up our forgotten communities and we will defeat any threat we will beat any challenge, we will overcome every obstacle, and we will achieve a glorious future of American greatness beyond our wildest dreams. And that's what you're doing. To everyone here today, keep up the great work. And I just want to say, from the bottom of my heart, God bless you, God bless your families, and God bless you.